Hey guys, so this video was requested by several people that have been talking to me on my social media and uh, some people on YouTube um, who are asking what I was doing for skincare, kind of like um, a night routine or a day routine, but I chose to go with a night routine because I feel like nighttime is the most important. Um, it's when you're sleeping, your skin's repairing itself, and if you guys like this video and you want to know what my like daytime skincare routine is, I can do that. Um, but uh, yeah, this is for the people that requested it. So the first thing I do is I pull my hair back. I don't necessarily always put it in a ponytail because um, if I'm going to wear it down the next day, I don't want like a crease or anything, but sometimes I'll put it in a scrunchie. Um, so the first thing I do is I use the Yes to Cucumbers or like the Yes to brand wipes can't get it open today um and I get just the I used to think I was getting all my makeup off with this until I got my spin for perfect skin and then I was so freaked out to see how much was actually left um so I just take my face makeup off first as well as I can with these and I'm going to show you guys as you can see, it looks like my makeup's off. It, there's tons of makeup on here. I used to think that that was good enough. And I will go to bed like that, face-wise. So then I always just like wipe as much as I can of my makeup off with the wipe I already had, um, like my eye makeup and stuff. Okay, my next step to get all my eye makeup off gently without, because if you like agitate your eye area some, that can um, cause wrinkles and torn skin and it's just not good to rub your eyes hard. So I would take coconut oil. You can use regular like refined coconut oil or virgin. I keep virgin around because it's better. So I will take that and just get, <laughs> my dogs might come running in here. They love coconut oil. I will just get a dab of that, like good globs of it. Um, and I keep my house fairly cool because this is Texas and, well, the AC is running most of the year, so it doesn't actually liquefy, but once it hits your skin, your skin will kind of warm it up and, um, I just rub it into my lashes and all over my eyes. So you can see I have crazy raccoon face. So from there, I'll gently wipe all that craziness off. And then I just keep working my eyes gently with coconut oil that's still on my hands. This stuff like goes a long way. They kind of work all, um, see there's still some. It's, it's a really good gentle way to get it off. Um, now I don't always necessarily get all, all my eye makeup off throughout like the evening after I take my makeup off and the night. Um, it kind of gets under my eyes some, anything I missed. Um, but because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm not gonna focus too much energy on my eyes. So that is how I take my eye makeup off. Then I move on to the semi-newest part of my routine. I've been doing this for over a week now. I wet my face. I get my Spin for a Perfect Skin. Um, I did a review on this. I will link it in the description box below. Right now, um, VanityPlanet.com has a special spin for HS. Um, those are my initials. And you guys can get this product, which is a $99, very high-end facial cleaning system. It also has a body brush, an exfoliating brush, and a pumice stone. I hope I'm saying that right. But right now, you guys can get it for 70% off with that code or other things on the Vanity Planet website um, using this code right here. Um, on this website <laughs> and yeah it's a really awesome deal you can get this for $30 right now it is a hundred dollar product and it is worth every penny if you pay full price but that's a really awesome deal I just want to let you guys know about that so what I'm using tonight is I am using just the regular cleansing brush um, some nights if I'm going to do a facial mask I will use the exfoliating one to clean my face and then I will put um my Dead Sea Mud Mask on from Insta Naturals. I'm not doing that tonight because I did it recently. Tonight, I'm just, like I said, re-wetting my face because it's drying a little bit, but I damp my face. I damp the 
brush just a little bit. This is just how I do it. Um, goodness gracious. And then I use Dr. Brommer's Always to wash my face. This is the um, uh, peppermint. The peppermint is what is good if you have acne. Um, so I just pour just a little bit on that because Dr. Brommer's goes a long, long way. And then it's important not to, I don't, you don't push this into your skin. You just want it to kind of touch your skin, especially if you're doing the exfoliating. Um, I'm just doing the regular cleansing brush, but I'm making sure not to push it in my skin because you really, really, you just don't need to. It does all the work for you. We have Rafi in here now, who always comes in because the sound intrigues him. So I'm just working my face in little areas. I'm kind of doing a rotating motion as I do this, along with the brush working. And I want to show you guys something. I hope the camera picks this up, but I thought I was getting all my makeup off. I don't know if you can see how gross that is. All of my makeup that is still on my brush that this is pulling like out of my pores. It's honestly just so amazing. I, I really honestly thought I was getting everything off, but I'll clean that in a minute. Um, and I don't like washing my face in the shower personally, um, but if you do, it has kind of a little hole here, so I guess you can hang it on a like a shower rack in your shower. And now I just put on some warm water on a washcloth. Again, I don't know if this will show on the camera, but there's all this makeup that this bin for perfect skin got off and got kind of like out of my pores. So I'm just do one more. Make sure I got it uh, all off. Okay. Then I always just pat my face dry. Now I'm just gonna give it a few minutes for my skin to kind of dry a little bit, but not too much before I do my next steps. Okay, now that I've waited three to five minutes um, for my skin to kind of dry a little bit um, so that it's not so, so wet, but it's um, also still open enough to take in the products I'm gonna put on. Now, with my Insta Naturals, I use completely different stuff during the day. The only thing that stays the same is I use the retinol, retinol serum two times a day, depending on when I wash my face. Um, the first thing I always put on is the Youth Express Eye Gel, and this doesn't just have to be for eyes. Um, if you're older, I'm not really, I don't have like significant aging issues. Um, not that everyone that's older does, but, uh, and then you're just gonna let pat it on, but you can put it actually all over your face. It doesn't just have to be for your eyes. I like to work it all around my eyes. And again, just patting it because that part of your skin is so, so gentle. You wanna be very careful with it. Um, and I kind of bring it up into like my eyebrow area. And then I would take a second for that to dry. Okay, now that that's not wet anymore, it's not it's not completely dry. I mean, I could still like lightly feel it, but it feels like it's absorbed into my skin. Then I'm gonna move on to my retinol serum. Now this serum, other serums, I usually just actually dab on my face, but this one is kind of liquidy. So I just take some, and this stuff goes like a really long way. So I just work it into my skin and then also into my neck because you want to take care of your neck as well because you don't want to have like a really young looking face and a wrinkly ass neck like it's, just, it's not a good look guys <laughs> seriously though. okay so then you're gonna wait for this to dry a little bit my headband is really slipping away from me it's doing some weird things that's an interesting look anyway so um now we're gonna move on this is the Professional Formula Youth Express Night Cream Hydrates and Plump Skin. All of these products 
um, everything from the Spin for Perfect Skin. Dr. Bromer, you can buy at Target. You can buy coconut oil anywhere. Um, if you have a Trader Joe's, you can buy the Dr. Bromer. It's always cheaper there than Target. Um, but the products that I have for my skin that I ordered online, I'm going to list the links below to like Amazon and then Vanity Planet and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested, you can look it up. So then I put some of the moisturizer on. Not too much because it does, again, go a really long way, especially when you have the serum on under your skin. It just kind of glides over it. And I just kind of work it in in big circles. I mean, like, I guess everyone has their different ways they do things. It's just how I do mine. Okay. And that is my nighttime routine now that my hair is a mess I gotta put it up for the night but um yeah that's what I do for my skin and that's what's been working for me and I do have a couple of scars and little breakouts but that again I am on fertility drugs when I'm not on fertility drugs um when I was using the other instant natural stuff my skin was really beautiful and clearing up so nicely and my acne is so like so much reduced this cycle of fertility drugs with instant natural stuff and the spin for perfect skin is amazing because it kind of like it takes off all that extra dead skin so the product can really get in and work really really well i just really love it i can't say enough good stuff about it so um if you have any questions about the products i used leave me a comment in the comments box like again i'll list everything in the description box and if you guys like this if you want to see my morning routines then um for my skin then just Go ahead and leave me a comment saying you want to see the morning ones, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.